Hello, my name is Sam Bourgeois. I'm from the U.S. Uh, I own a company called Make It Secure, and I work with uh, other nonprofits, specifically uh, with Educating for Leadership, to provide training to young people around the globe uh, to basically to improve our, our security posture, to make the world a safer place, uh, to increase the number of professionals in the cybersecurity and IT industry globally. Hi, I'm Jasmine Johnson. I am from Miami, Florida, and I'm part of the T3 Alliance. Um, I'm here at Lakeithia University today serving um, as one of the facilitators of the T3 process in the onboarding strand. And so uh, what we're doing here today is really walking um, the Lakeithia University ICT students and faculty through our process. And uh, T3 Alliance has really three pillars. Um, one is growth mindset, and that means that we think that um, everybody has the ability to grow, to grow in intelligence, um, that, it, that it's not fixed, that you have the ability to learn something new. And we're teaching um, that to the QPA University students and staff here. Um, and then the next thing is that design thinking. Uh, we are teaching them the process of how to solve problems. Um, and that's for community uh, impact. And so our really our last principle is that uh, we want to impact the community. And so the technology skills that we are teaching, we are comparing that with need. And so our design thinking process focuses on empathizing and problem solving for the community. And so that's what we're doing here with the QPA University. We are um, working with students and faculty to really help them uh, understand that their ability to solve problems for the community is in their hands. And we do that through teaching technology skills. That's why we're the Teaching Through Technology Alliance. The technologies that we're using are going to uh, impact security globally and, and certainly here in, in Laikipia and in Kenya uh, because these technologies are quite inexpensive, they're easily accessible, they're easy to learn, they're easy to adapt. We can create not just new versions of things that already exist, we can create new systems, we can create new functions, we can create new ways to solve problems in our community and those problems often include security, whether it's sensors and physically monitoring environments or whether it's programming and understanding how different systems come together logically and then monitoring those systems. The technologies and the skills and the tools that we're using are going to be able to connect all those things in a way that anyone can afford. They're portable, they're easy to understand and they're easy to adapt. So this technology um, is really in integral to the, the CBC process and the CBC philosophy uh, because when a professor, when an instructor wants to hand over their knowledge, they want to hand over their ideas, they want to hand over the power of this information, of these skills, they can do so in a way that's attainable because this technology is something that the students can learn when they're ready. It's very easy, it's very portable, it's, it's very inexpensive. And so this technology is an, is a, is an underpinning to what they do with the CBC uh, because it allows that flip, it allows that transition for the instructor to say, you can have everything that I have. You can have videos, you can have the tools, you can have the training, and you can even have the technology. When we come together, let's focus on more important conversations, higher level conversations. Let's talk about the ethics of the technology. Let's talk about what we can do with the technology. Let's build something new with the technology. Let's talk about uh, the challenges you've had, the, the struggles you've had, and build something bigger, build something that uh, is, is beyond the walls of this classroom and really impacts our community and the world. Um, our end target is that we help grow a, a, a community of problem solvers for, the, um, for this area. And so we have technology skills that this, what we are doing here today is just the first step in a process, uh, the first step in, in where they can go. So once they have these skills, once they learn that they are the capable problem solvers, then they can go, uh, there's no boundaries on where they can go in the future and what they can do and what they can solve as long as they know that they are, have the ability to problem solve. And that can be with any of the skills. That could be with their, what they're learning here at Lakeipia. It could be learning what the, the skills that we've done here with the Raspberry Pi and the sensors and everything that we've taught them while we were here. I um, mean, it could be with some other technology. It could be with AI, but what's really important is that they have become problem solvers. And so then they can impact their community, their workplaces, here the environment here at the school um, for the better.